you guys put out this product mm -hmm. and it got so much attention early on. What was it that, that people just absolutely loved and, and people were hungry for? I think there's a lot of pain around email. Uh, particularly when we try and check email from our phones, uh, it's a frustrating experience. A lot of us feel overwhelmed by it. It's like this deluge that's hitting us all the time and uh, we can't get away from it. We can't stop using it. We often don't like it. We have stuff that we need to do trapped in our inboxes and uh, there's just a lot of pent up frustration. I think that's a bit of uh, what drove the interest. There was just this long, long wait list for Mailbox. I mean, specifically, is it was it the hype? Was it the idea that it was beautifully designed? Was it what what was it that that people were just signing up for? Yeah, I think uh, well, the way that we launched Mailbox is we we showed a video ahead of time, uh, kind of showing people what the experience of Mailbox might be like, and then we had hoped to get uh, maybe a hundred thousand views of that thing uh, before launching the app, and uh, it, it actually went viral and there were millions of people passing it around and watching it and uh, the way that Mailbox works in order to basically make the experience as fast as possible and uh, deliver push messages to the phone uh, to reroute messages back to the inbox when they've been snoozed. Uh, the app has one foot on your phone but it has one foot out in the cloud. Email is mission critical stuff like we all expect for it to simply work reliably and we're trying to create this experience that's faster uh, more delightful but also it needs to be consistent it needs to just work and uh, to be able to do that for a lot of people at once is actually a pretty big responsibility and so you guys have this this classic entrepreneurial tale that doesn't happen to most entrepreneurs which is you put a you put a product out, out there goes viral and then you guys get acquired for millions of dollars I, I mean take me through that at what what when did those conversations start with Dropbox and, and at one point did you say okay I've got a product out there now I'm gonna be part of another company yeah. For us, it was a really difficult decision. We knew that if we were really going to address what appeared to be, or what appears to be, a very large market in terms of the number of people that use email on their mobile, that meant we were going to have to provide service for a lot of other kinds of email providers and for a lot of other kinds of devices. And that's a lot of work. And it meant we needed to grow our team and we needed to scale. And while we had done a good job of identifying the market, it wasn't clear that unless we grew pretty dramatically, we were actually going to be able to take that market. We were going to be able to address that market by growing the product quickly enough. But this is a really unusual time in terms of how hard it is to find top top-notch uh, engineering and design talent and in order for us to do all those things we were going to need a lot of both and so this decision to go to Dropbox was the decision to join forces with a larger organization that was similarly minded uh, similarly focused on building tools that take the friction out of work and um, and make it easier for us to work together so what next do you expand beyond because it works with Gmail now do you expand beyond Gmail yeah so we're actively working on expanding beyond Gmail to other email platforms and also ex expanding beyond the iPhone to other devices so we're we're announcing an, an iPad app now and that's kind of the next piece but we'll be continuing to grow beyond iOS into other mobile devices and the desktop as well one of the reasons mailbox you could argue it has done so well is because of the design yeah. what's your philosophy on it you know, I think a lot of people think of design as this way of making something pretty or making it uh, clean. Uh, the, the world that I come from, design is used as a, a way of solving problems. It's almost like a way of thinking. Uh, it, you, you spend a lot of time trying to understand the problem that you're trying to solve uh, as deeply as you can, to build sort of an empathy for it and to express that empathy in, in terms of a couple of very clear objectives about what a solution might do. What would it mean to have better mobile email? Those become the stakes in the ground on which you, you determine whether or not something is going to work. So design becomes the process of going from this understanding of the problem uh, to a solution and the way you get the solution is you try a lot of things you iterate quickly with the anticipation you're going to make a lot of mistakes uh, the the whole idea is to fail early and often to, to succeed faster through uh, a, a lot of prototyping and a lot of trial and error and the premise is that you can try as much as you want to uh, come up with different solutions uh, but you never let go of the understanding of the problem